And now let's talk about usage models. So the first reason to have autonomous drone is if you need to have a fleet, a very large fleet of drones. There is not enough pilots for the entire fleet, and pilots can't really synchronize their flight. Um, so that won't scale for sure. Example, uh, top right you have an illustration of Intel Drone Slideshow for the 2017 Super Bowl. On bottom right you have pest prevention for agriculture, where fleets of drones cover a large area. Other examples include uh, last mile logistics. Second reason to focus on autonomous drone is if you need precision and predictability. Um, autonomous drone can provide that when they are well developed. For example, if you need to take photos from a specific position with a specific angle and to do that with predictability over several flights. Uh, so that's useful when you do uh, infrastructure inspection, when you do a uh, movie shooting, so you can look at a uh, James Bond Skyfall uh, in show chase. On, uh, on the right, you have illustration of the Intel Abyss collaboration for plane inspection. Another reason to focus on autonomous drones is if you use them as an infrastructure. So uh, let's say you want to fly constantly, anytime, to use drone to carry um, moderns or access points, uh, that's where you need a um, drone constantly flying and it makes no sense to have a pilot behind each drone. So here we have illustration of a Google X Loon project on Facebook Aquila projects. So we saw why we needed autonomous drones. Now let's focus on what is different when you have autonomous drones. So let's focus on a usage model for last mile logistics. Let's say you try to replace one truck with 20 drones um, and you may save time and reduce costs, but it's, uh, there's a lot of other different aspects um, that are a consequence of using autonomous drones. So here is an example. On the left, you have your logistics hub. Uh, talking to a local logistics hub and then trucks go and deliver packages to several sites and come back to the hub. Now let's compare. First with trucks. Trucks are big so you need to load them um, to the maximum uh, to, to make their trip worthwhile. Depot is usually quite far uh, so you have a minimum of deliveries each day you can afford to, to have and uh, to, to minimize the distance uh, usually focus your truck in one area of the city. As a result uh, you can have optimization for same day delivery, that's fine, we already have that in some cities, but you can't really scale to 30 minute or one hour deliveries. Drone uh, are different, they are variable in size, you can have small drones, big drones, they can work from smaller logistical hubs all over the city. They have a predictable flight time, no traffic jam. And as a result, you can uh, propose short latency deliveries, something you can't do with trucks. So the key message is that when you replace trucks by drones, you are not only optimizing, saving time and money, you are totally changing the product, the delivery product. So you can deliver one donut on demand. And if you can do that, it means you can do a lot of other things. And when you start replacing trucks by drones, you also change the logistics centers themselves. Um, for trucks, they have to be uh, big, far from city center. With drones, you can have small logistics centers, totally automated, um, these guys in cities. And you can have a lot of small centers instead of a big one. So you could have a flying warehouse, you can have ships sailing in front of cities, uh, you could have direct delivery from trains, from trucks, uh, you can have underground logistics centers in places where you have nothing today. Um, so everything is different when you move to autonomous drones. So the conclusion is that autonomous drones are not only a way to do marketing stunts, you can do that, but uh, there's a need on the market today for autonomous drones, it's a sales business. And uh, drones are not really about automating tasks only, they have specific requirements, but they enable new usage models and they totally change the field where they are deployed.